Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Today I am here with Prototype Kit by Jennifer Sussman Price at Silicon Studios. Seem like, have I been doing couple a lot of their babies lately <laughs> feels like I have but um yeah actually I have I had Oakley I had Hannah I did uh, Gianna Nori and Kit gosh <laughs> I didn't realize I did. <laughs> I've started painting like so many of their babies but anyway, I'm I'm not definitely not painting as much as some people. I see some people like painting like, you know, the same kit like multiples. They've painted like five or six of ten of you know one of the kits or something. But um, I do like their pour. I like the way they pour. Um, I like like the, the the level of softness that they do. Um, I love their customer service. Um, so all that stuff makes it easier for me as a painter. Um, I definitely love their prices. Their prices is, you know, really, really fair for the quality that they give. So that's one of the reasons why I'll be like a repeat customer someone. If I have good, you know, customer service experience, um, you know, I will come back. Um, and then of course, you know, like I said, we kit the kit with hands. I was given the opportunity to paint this one and you know do an AA skin tone um, and that was really nice so um, where I wasn't so out to do prototypes for vinyl I think I'm more excited when it's silicone of course you know the 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 benefit of course is bigger with silicone than vinyl as far as for me um but both is like rewarding because of the extra exposure that you get you know as an artist but also the sculptors they get exposure as well if the prototype artists have a um decent following or platform so anyway that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day that isn't the point of the video y'all know that i like to come and share my thoughts and my opinions on stuff and just kind of just talk freely on my channel um i've always been that way um and anybody that i do business with rather it's like my customers or even sculptors if i do any type of promo for them or anything like that um they have to know and understand that i'm very upfront and i don't like like lying to my audience i don't like misleading people i think that's the biggest pet peeve I have in the community is also the biggest thing that I think like that you know kind of I don't know I it, it just it didn't help me when I first started collecting it really didn't help me when someone you know really blew something up bigger than what it was and you know just for their own personal benefit and then I go thinking oh this is great and then you get it and it's like they lied <laughs> but anyway nevertheless I was wanting to talk about cuddle babies and um full body silicone um as you guys know I mentioned before I absolutely love reborns I love painting my reborns I will always love painting reborns um I think I'm definitely more confident with reborns I'm more comfortable painting that medium but I don't root and you know it's always a struggle to you know when you really want to complete the whole vision of the baby and you want to see them a particular way but you don't root and so you kind of I have to kind of wait in line to get my babies rooted and then even that you know at some point uh, the rooter that I work with may eventually just be like I'm not rooting for anyone else because she's an artist herself so um, and then I don't trust to just send my babies out to just any and everybody. And then there's not a lot of people that's offering to root. So it's kind of forced me to paint silicone a little bit more than I thought I would. Um, just because 
I have more control over the whole process because I, I can root um, silicone. But, and then I have to, you know, I have to, I have to be able to sell to buy to support this hobby. I don't have money just sitting to just be like, oh, I want a new kit. I'll just throw 3000 over here and 2000 over there and then let me throw a couple hundred over here for these pre-order final babies that I want. So, you know, it's just, it, you know, one hand wash the other, if that makes sense. But anyway, now we're five minutes in and I still haven't. My intentions when I laid India there, by the way, her name is India. She's on a large preemie body, which I discovered that the large preemie and the newborn seems to be about the, almost the same size for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, her body is a little bit more petite. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but it fits her perfectly. Um, but she can fit, you know, small newborn clothes and she can also fit preemie clothes. So, um, she's my two bananas. And so I wanted to talk about the cuddle babies because I'm like, I love cuddle babies. Um, I really love the way they feel. I love being able to pose them. Um, definitely when they have hands. I have not painted one with feet yet, but you know, I know that is sure to come at one point, at some point, maybe. Um, but I, so if the heads are kind of small <laughs> and they fit on my little sticky thing that, um, uh, I have, which someone actually helped me out with it, with that thing. Um, then it, it works great for me. Um, but if the head is on the bigger side and I am struggling cause I'm looking, I'm like, where's my, where is my stand? But anyway, I'll find it later. But, um, yeah, but if the, if, if the head doesn't fit on that, then you got to struggle. I got to put it in the jar or something to kind of keep the head up while I paint and all this stuff. And so it, it can become like very aggrav aggravating and aggy as people say. Um, you know, which is why I don't like partials. I, I don't like partials, like full like limbs and all that and stuff. Cause ugh, just the whole process of painting partials is more work than the full body actually to me. i say that all the time. But for me, I really enjoy painting full body babies and painting Nori, um, you know, over the past week or so, it just really like made me get all hyped up. And, and it's funny because I know this might sound stupid, but I was looking around like thinking like, dang, I don't have another full body to put on the table. <laughs> Cause I, I, you know, once I got in the zone, it's like, okay, this one is done. Now, who am I going to get to put on there next? And I don't have a full body. Um, but I, I see this trend where people are now saying, well, oh, okay, they like the head, so we'll just sculpt heads and pour heads. And it's like, and now a couple people are doing hands and feet. Um, not as many. Um, I do think the hands are like great. Like I honestly, I would, I love to paint, I would love to paint hands and feet on a cuddle that stands up. You know, you can stand it up when you paint and the head over a partial baby any day, right? But I feel like everybody's like forgetting that we still do like full body babies. Like, and then, then when you get the full body babies and um, there's no newborn size babies, like every baby is either really big or really small. And so I'm kind of like, okay, I need somebody to sculpt us a perfect, size like six seven pound you know 19 inch newborn baby you know what I mean like I mean 20 inches is okay if it's small but I don't know I'm just saying I just I, I would love to have a really not super big newborn baby that will be perfect for cuddling and just give you that fresh newborn just got home from the hospital feel um, that's, that's the next dream baby for me to paint. Um, but I want to know how you guys are feeling. Like, are you guys like glad that the cuddle babies are now becoming more of a thing? And 
are, are you guys missing the full bodies? Because lately we're not getting a lot of full bo new full body kids. I mean, I'm seeing like over, I guess, you know, outside of the U.S., there's a lot of sculptors that are doing more full bodies and stuff like that. But it seems like they're kind of staying overseas as well. Like they're not, I'm not seeing a lot of U.S. artists painting them. Um, I don't know, you know, why, what's the reason behind it? Um, but yeah, it, you know, it's, it's so hard in this hobby because I know like as an artist, you can't please every collector. And I know as a sculptor, they definitely, definitely cannot please every artist and collector. So, you know, they have to do what they're passionate about and what they love and enjoy so that they can give the best of themselves to us. Um... But I'm just saying, <laughs> tell your friend or your friend or your friend <laughs> that we're looking for a newborn. Um, I, I know I have like, I have one, one friend that uh, collects my babies that has been being really patient and looking for a, the perfect newborn sleeping boy. And it's like you can't find it it's like crazy you can't find it and then um you know with a realistic body you know serene face um or you know then i got another friend that she's looking for like a wake baby she likes fat chubby babies and it's just funny. It's just, it's funny because we are all like on a hunt. We're always constantly like, I want this, I want that. So, um, just interesting. Um, but yeah. So we will see. I know that. Um, I don't know what I was. Gonna do. Oh yeah. Sometimes I pull the thing out a little bit for their little feet. Oh, she's so too sweet. <laughs> Yeah, I still really, really love her. Like, I haven't lost any love for her, um, even though I have been really, you know, distracted with the new babies. Gigi really took me for a loop, and Nori really had me on an emotional roller coaster. So, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you're following me. It's Miss Serenity underscore Smith, um, so that you can see a lot of my pictures and posts and all that and stuff. Um, I recently just made my page private just because I, I just feel like I want people to actually follow me, you know, follow my, 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 my work, you know, my babies and, um, I don't know. I think, yeah. So that's, that's, that's that. Um, what else? I almost cried. My uh, blog renewal fee <laughs> automatically came out of my account. And I'm like, oh my God, I forgot about that. And then it's like it's an annual fee. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even been blogging on that thing. Like, why am I paying for it? So I'm trying to debate if I really need that blog because it's just another platform that I have to keep up with. But I, I, I like being able to write stories on it, but I haven't had nobody go and design that website for me and set it up the way that I would like for it to be set up. Um, so I don't know if I'll continue that after this year. So I may actually do away with it because I'm not really as active on it. Just life is just so busy for me and it's just me, you know, it's just me. I am, you know, basically, you know, everything is on me. So, uh, what else did I want to tell you guys? So, yeah. What was I going to say? So, I like, um, I like Oakley. I liked I like all I, I like all my babies, but I didn't want to keep um babies that look kind of similar to each other cuz I want my collection to be like very diverse in their looks, their expressions. Um I'm not going to 
say on sleeping awake because I think my toddlers, they are woke. The babies are sleeping. Um, I will take a, a an awake baby. As a matter of fact, I need to ask this one sculptor about this awake baby I seen um, not too long ago. But um, I, yeah, so yeah, I, I just been like, okay. Now I'm looking for a fresh new face, serene. I'm ready, like, come on, let's get it cracking. But yeah, so anyway guys, I will be, like I said before, I will be putting out some babies um, and I don't wanna draw this video too long, so we'll talk about that another day. Later, bye.